In this activity, I'm going to show you how to make a flip book. So first copy the flip book to your uh, folder that's called flip book and copy that to your drive H uh, so you have my resources. Then to get started, um, let me show you what we're gonna make. Here's an example of a flip book I made uh, a while ago. So you'll see you've got a book cover, the cover is hard. And when I flip the page, I just take my mouse and I can flip a page. And um, there you go, there's my trip uh, to Barcelona and a little bit of information on each page with some text and so forth. And there's different types of options and things that we can do. And we're gonna make a book just like that. So to get started, let's open up the page flip blank, which is the template. And we'll open up that with Macromedia Flash. MX 2004 and when we open it up we don't need most of the things in here um, it's already pre-made we're just going to modify the flash flipbook so the first thing I want to make sure my library panel is visible because that's very important so I'm going to make sure there's a check mark on library and then if I look at the library panel um, and let me just uh, float it up here uh, so you can see it a little bit better um, I'm going to scroll down the library panel and you'll see under page elements uh, the book. Here's page one, here's page two, here's page three and so forth. So I'm going to start with page one and I'll double click on page one and what I'm going to do is here's page one and I'm going to modify what's on here. So I'm going to put uh, digital media and I'll put some text here and say Mr. Poi. Okay, now I need to look, well, what do I wanna put on here? So that's good enough for page one. So I don't need to go to page one, so I can go back to scene one. I don't need page one anymore. And let me go back to the library and let's do another page. So in page two, let's suppose in page two, I wanna uh, put some stuff I've got on here. And so here's page two and I'll show you how I did this. Um, I don't like the color of this page. The page is kind of dark. It's a bit daunting. So what I could do here is I could uh, select everything. Let's just delete, uh, oops, I don't wanna select that. Um, I wanna select uh, what I put on here, so I'll delete that. Um, suppose I like a lighter color page. Well, I could easily just put a rectangle and I could draw a rectangle right over this one and I could change uh, the color and make it a gray colored, oops, uh, page. Gotta make sure I can view the whole thing here. And so one way I could just select the rectangle tool and I could draw a gray page over top. Okay, so in here I'm gonna put some text and I'm gonna talk about what this is all about. And what I've done here is before you get started, uh, I made a folder called Flipbook Resources. And here's some work that I've done. So I've done this thing called a small car, a cartoon car. So what I might do is talk a little bit about how I made the cartoon car is one of the things I did. So on here, I'll select the A tool and I'll uh, talk about a project called the cartoon car. And then I'll write a little bit about how I made up the cartoon car. Um, so I might change the font to a smaller font. I might adjust it to the left uh, and uh, change to uh, Arial font or something. And uh, say uh, in this activity, um, I took a picture of a car and modified the mid section but kept the front and back. I used some photo and you get uh, just a couple of sentences as to what you did. So let me insert the cartoon car. So I can sort of place that on the page where I'd like it and I think that would be good there. And I want to import, so I select uh, my page and I go file and import. 
and I'm going to import. I can import to the stage or to the library and then drag it on. Either way is good. Uh, let me just import to the stage here. And so I'll go back to my folder, uh, which is called Flipbook, and I go to the resources and I'll say, let's put the cartoon car on there. And I've previously also made this, I went in Photoshop and I made this quite small so I knew it would fit well because we only have uh, about 400 pixels um, or, or 300 pixels uh, width by about 400 tall. So we don't really have a lot of space to put stuff on here. Okay, that looks good. Let me go to another page. Uh, so let's go to the next page. So to go to another page, I'll just go to my library here and uh, let's take a look at another page, page three, let's say. Um, and for page three, uh, pretty well I'll do the same thing. So let me show you what I did. I uh, started, I made a background that was uh, just a box over top gray color perhaps and uh, let me import to the library by going file and import import to the stage rather and I'll put the adventure website so here's the adventure website now the adventure website I hadn't made small I should have in my prep work to do this but uh, it'll still be fine and I'll say okay to everything notice it's quite large so what I'm gonna do is I need to modify it um, so I need to go under modify and transform and I need to scale it or uh, resize it somehow um, and get it to fit on here. And I'll go like so. Oops. And I'll just put it maybe, uh, I'll move it right up here like so. And one of the interesting things, um, so I'll talk here, I'd write some text uh, and go back to um, uh, website uh, using uh, fireworks. And then I'll go back and then change to the Arial font and try to keep sort of a similar look and feel uh, throughout uh, my work here. And and you get the idea. Okay, let's take a look and just test uh, my movie. So I'm just going to save this. Remember to save all the time. And of course, I should well, just make it a little bit better. Uh, let's test a movie and um, you'll see, there you go. You can see the cartoon car. You can see the website, even the buttons work, uh, the cartoon car and so forth. And you'll see all the pages. Okay, one last thing. You'll notice that every time I flip, <coughs> the script is set to print out. Again, uh, I'm gonna fix that. And I won't show you in this tutorial, but if you look in the actions, um, in the actions it says uh, uh, debug mode is on, and we'll just tell it to turn it off. Okay.